now at 11 o'clock, gun rights advocates are criticizing Savannah's new city law. It makes it illegal to leave an unsecured gun in an unlocked car. Joined now by WJCL 22 News' is Tia Maggio, live from the newsroom. Gun experts you spoke with today say this ordinance hurts gun owners and the language in the law doesn't follow advice from the Justice Department. Well, Greg, Savannah City Council passed its new law on Thursday. According to one gun store owner, it won't stop crime. And according to this DOJ report from June of 2021, the city's ordinance does not follow its recommendations on how to stop guns from being stolen from vehicles. And every second counts, especially in a situation where you need to defend yourself from somebody who has all intentions of harming you. Every second counts. Catalina Cardi says for her, owning a gun is about protection. Our right to protect ourselves, our right to protect our property, our family, our loved ones at any cost. Something she believes is in danger with the new city law that requires a gun to be safely locked away in a car. Accardi believes that could slow down a person's ability to use their guns in the case of an emergency. You're going to have to fiddle with numbers, codes, keys, whatever, to try to unlock this firearm to get to it, and that could cost you your life. The city's new law defines a secured gun in a car as being stored in a glove compartment, council, locked truck, or behind the last upright seat. The vehicle's door must be locked. But the U.S. Concealed Carry Association disagrees that those are secure places. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the issue of leaving a gun in the glove box of your vehicle. This is something that I'm going to start right off the bat by saying this is a bad idea. Accardi says a gun lock box costs anywhere from $100 to $900. She recommends one that can be attached to your car, like this headrest box that can be installed inside. They're going to smash a window and they're going to get at it anyway. If these are in a lockbox that is not secured to the vehicle. According to the city, more than 80% of guns left unlocked and accessible in cars lead to them being stolen and used in crimes. Although the city says it passed this ordinance to decrease crime, Accardi argues this targets the wrong people. Rather than focusing on the criminals and the people who are committing these acts, we're focusing on the people that are only trying to protect themselves and are doing so legally by all state and federal laws. Her solution to the crimes? Harsher punishments. Harsher punishments for the crimes being committed. You want to break into a car, you get 15 years. You don't get a slap on the wrist. Accardi also tells me that these gun lock boxes come in different price points. You can find them on her website by going to ours, wjcl.com. Back to you, Greg. Yeah, Maggio reporting live in the newsroom. Thanks so very much.